Good morning. Welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. I hope y'all have recuperated from all your cooking for Thanksgiving. And I, if you're like me, you cooked way too much. You had too much food. I told you the other day that we uh, had two 20-pound turkeys that uh, the guys cooked. Uh, and I made turkey salad with leftovers for you. But today, I'm going to make out of the rest of the leftovers a recipe that's in my Volume 2 cookbook on page 30, and it's turkey casserole. Now, <clears throat> this is the rest of the, the turkey, and what I did was I uh, chopped it up. It, and the recipe calls for two to three cups. So I did that, and then... I chopped an onion and one stalk of celery because it called for a half a cup and it was exactly a half a cup. A cup of mayonnaise, a can of cream of mushroom soup, grated cheese, and the topping was supposed to be crushed potato chips and I didn't have any, so I'll show you what I'm going to use instead. But I'm going to mix in my bowl, first of all, my cream of mushroom soup. Some of you are going to say, I can't, I don't like that. Can I use cream of chicken? I'll say use whatever you want to use. This is just what the recipe calls for. Now, a cup of mayonnaise, and use the mayonnaise of your choice. I think that's pretty close. I'm going to add my celery, my chopped onions, and the recipe says a half to a cup of grated cheese, and I had some already bagged, so I'm going to use it, and I'm going to go ahead and mix this uh, about a half a cup in with the uh, mixture right here. I put my chopped turkey. I don't like to see anything go to waste. It says to take a two quart casserole dish and all right, I'm gonna spread this in. <clears throat> I preheated my oven to 350 degrees. Now the recipe in my cookbook says to put crushed potato chips and cheese on top. But I put the cheese in it. You can do it any way you want. And since I did not have the uh, potato chips, I crushed about three-fourths of a sleeve of Ritz crackers, and I melted a stick of butter. And it's so funny because it doesn't matter what I fix. Harold says, uh-oh, if you put Ritz crackers, I'm, I'm not going to waste that either because my countertop is clean. He says, if you put Ritz crackers in it, it's going to make it better. And then I'm going to take my hands. I heard another cook that I love so much, a local one now. She doesn't have a cooking show. She has a restaurant. That's Mama Ree's, and it's between Childersburg and Sylacauga. It's close to where I live. She has home cooking in her restaurant, a buffet, and she said one time, God gave us our hands before, at first, before we even had spoons or whatever. So she said, use those hands, and that's what I do. But that I have mixed all that together, and I have preheated my oven, and I'm going to bake it for 30 minutes, and then I'll be back to show you how yummy this is. The turkey casserole has cooked for 30 minutes. When I took it out just then, it was bubbly. 
and it smells delicious. It's too hot right now for me to take it out of here, but I want you to know that this is just an easy, delicious way that you can get rid of the last of your turkey. I know you get tired of it after you've had sandwiches and all that, but you don't want to waste it. So remember that this is in my volume two cookbook on page 30. And those of you who are new and want to know how you can order my cookbooks, go to mamasuesouthernkitchen.com and you'll find cookbooks. You'll find my um, shirts and aprons. And today I have on the one that says Even If, and that's from Daniel 3.18. That's the story where um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to bow down and worship their God, the God of, of Nebuchadnezzar. But what they he said was, my God will rescue me, but even if he doesn't, I will serve him. And, you know, I felt that way last year when I was so, so sick. I thought, I believe God will heal me, but if even if not, he'll heal me by taking me to heaven. Y'all be salt and light wherever you go. Let others see Jesus in you. And I'm going to do something before I leave you that I'm, I meant to put in here. It wasn't in the recipe. But y'all, this is my favorite spice, I think. And Harold said, oh, you should have put this fancy steakhouse seasoning. I said, I forgot. He said, sprinkle it on top. So... This is from y'all brand, and I sprinkled it on top, and we're going to have this a little bit later. I'll be back soon.